stores are having more and more sales? Yes, they have, but I find even on their sale merchandise, you still can't beat the price of Marshalls. Closing schools because of the storm and rain conditions is pretty much a day-to-day and school-by-school situation. Parents are advised to call their local school department for the latest information. In the Los Angeles School District, a special hotline has been set up for your answers on that one. And the number, 625-4000. The number again, 625-4000 if you've got questions in the Los Angeles School District. In just a minute, too, Jerry, we'll have more emergency numbers for all of Southern California if you're having some sort of weather-related problem tonight. For the time being, though, back to some school-related issues at the lengthy Los Angeles Public Schools integration trial today. The judge and the lawyer spent much of today in chambers discussing how much longer it will go on. Reporter Bob Banfield was there all days back now to tell us what happened. Well, they didn't get around to the one issue they were supposed to resolve today, and that is the transfer of students from one school in the inner city to some schools in Sunland Tahunga. The issue has assumed greater importance in this case because of the battle of wills between the school district and the Superior Court judge who is suspect of the board's motives and actions. The details of the move, I think, are familiar to our viewers. The district wants to move 573rd graders, Hispanic and Asian students, from an overcrowded Union Avenue and Hoover School where they are on half-day sessions. Now, the board claims that transferring to Sunland rather than to schools that are closer but have empty classrooms is because of the bilingual educational needs of the students. Two bilingual teachers and five bilingual aides will accompany the children. They can better be used with classes intact. The principal at Hoover School sees many advantages to the move. We have youngsters here who are being shortchanged. They're only ha- they're having 40 minutes less a day of instructional time. And that our school is basically a bilingual school, and, and our youngsters need more schooling, not less, because they're also having to learn to speak English as well as to keep up with all their other subject areas. So we're really looking forward to this move. There was a time I speculated in one of our reports that this move would take place. It seemed so logical, but now I'm not so sure. The judge stated twice today that he is concerned that if he approves the move, he creates technically segregated schools. This bothers him. He's also concerned about the district's contention that Hispanic students will not accept assignment to black schools. The judge does not accept this idea. The plaintiff and the interveners working for a triethnic approach to integration, they reject the idea, too. That's one reason that they're fighting the transfer. Judge Egley pointed out that there are 57 overcrowded schools. That's something that he'll consider when he hands down his decision tomorrow. Jerry, okay. And tomorrow. And tomorrow. The South Line, of course, still in a state of emergency tonight and not getting any better, really, because of the weather situation. So when we come back, we're going to have the latest information on where to call for help during the storms if you need it. I've always been a pizza snob. Frozen pizza? Never. And then I discovered Stouffer's. <laughs> it's terrific. You know why? They don't use pizza crust. Stouffer's uses good French bread because French bread really stays crisp and delicious, even frozen. And then Stouffer's heaps on the best pizza makings. I'm still a pizza snob. The only frozen pizza I'll eat is Stouffer's. There really is a good frozen pizza. Stouffer's. Mm. Most people have the impression that the more you pay for something, the better it must be. The fact is that price and quality are two different things. Take Dell Simmons mattresses, for example. They're among the finest mattresses made. And now you can buy them at W. Simmons Factory Direct Prices. Which only goes to prove that when it comes to price, where you buy is as important as what you buy. Call information or check the yellow pages for the nearest W. Simmons Factory outlet. Hurry, hurry to the Irvine Auto Center Circus of Savings. Right now, inflation-defying specials on Fords, Dodges, Chevrolets, Lincolns, Triumphs, Hondas. The Irvine Auto Center is the convenient way to shop. Four dealerships, nine makes, thousands of new and used cars, trucks, and vans all in one location. Come to the Circus of Savings. Win tickets to the fabulous Circus Vargas. Save and win at the Irvine Auto Center where the Santa Ana and San Diego freeways meet. The new Fat Swallow Show is misbehaving. Tony Award winner for Best Musical. Now at the Aquarius Theater. Charge tickets by phone. Call 972 7654. Ain't misbehaving. One never knows. Now playing for a limited engagement. 
Time now to have a pen handy. I have a few important numbers for you to take down. Numbers dealing with storm-related emergencies here in Southern California. A new overall number for Los Angeles. You can see it there, 485-2131. In Orange County, the 714 area code, 834-2300. Another 714 number applies to San Bernardino. That's 714-383-5388. Lake Elsinore nearby, call 714-674-2164. The emergency number in Hemet, as you can see here, 658-5228. And finally, for the incorporated cities in Riverside County, call 800-472-5679. We hope we've been some help for you. Here comes Jerry and Chris with more of Eyewitness News.